everybody or almost good afternoon it's Wednesday July the 22nd and I'm leaving home to go pick up my mom love my mother and she's riding to Birmingham with me to a doctor's appointment um, I just posted a picture on Facebook I am so stinking excited I can't hardly stand it let me just show you what I just got in the mail. I got some paints too, which was really exciting from Amazon. I'll do a review on those later for all of my journal friends. Um, Felicia on, uh, gosh, I can never remember. Is it Mouse Designs? Felicia that does the Fobonichi group. She did a great review on them the other day. And the minute she did the review on them, I bought them. <laughs> Thanks, Felicia. <laughs> but they're great. This is something so stinking exciting. Guys, I lost my dad when I was 27 years old. I was sharing that with a friend this morning that's lost her father. But my dad was murdered. He was here one day and gone that night. And so that's very, very hard to live with, to accept. Um, to get peace over and really only the peace of God is the peace that passes all the understanding of man that's what we have to have in times of trouble my blush looks really red today but I wouldn't have wanted it that way but I can look back and I can see things and I I know why they happened but to say I'd want that, heck no, 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 no. But to tell you I didn't go through a horribly, horribly, horribly difficult time, I would be lying. And the Lord's really leading me to do a video on grief because there's been so many people that have gone through grief and I'm gonna share some of the grief I've been through and what a hard time I had. And sometimes I didn't think I was gonna make it but I did, and I only did by the strength of God. Only way I've made it. But this, get back to your story, Suzanne. <laughs> this is a DVD from my precious cousin, J.C. Halpane in Benton, Arkansas. He found some old, is it eight millimeter, nine millimeter, I don't remember, film in a drawer, and he took it and hooked it up to his projector and was watching it. His wife was actually my mother's niece, and she passed away a few years ago. Precious, precious lady. And he was going through some of the old video and uh, some of the old film strips, and he found footage of my daddy. <laughs> they steal my heart. I'm just about in tears telling you about it. Because there I was pulling out my driveway and um, can't go back because I go pick my mother up and get to Birmingham to the doctor and there it is although I think if her DVD player is working yeah and that's a big if I, I kind of think it's not we're gonna watch a little bit of it but I have not seen my daddy move and walk in living form in 31 almost 32 years Y'all, this is going to be awesome. I know the tears will be flowing. And he said, it's a lot of footage that he said, I'm not going to be interested in. But who cares if you've got a nugget of gold in there? But they would always come down several times a year and visit with us. And we would go by, we would go to Arkansas and see them. And um, so he says, it's my mom, my dad, the brother that's just right up above me, Dana and me so it's gonna have me on there when I was little too which we don't have any footage of that so we we didn't ever have a camera we we couldn't afford you know a camera and a projector when I was growing up so I'm just like beside myself I was daddy's girl and I'm just like him oh my gosh there's not a dainty bone on my body my daddy was a big robust guy about six foot three or four my brothers are like him my mom is like five foot two little tiny joints and arms and <laughs> 
I got the cankles from my daddy. Now, some of y'all living in more sophisticated areas, you may not know what cankles are, but that's when your calf runs into your ankle. <laughs> it's big ankles. <laughs> I'm educating y'all on stuff from the south. Yes, Felicia, I do have an accent. When I only when I go off though, or when I go places, because I don't have an accent around here. <laughs> uh, in my work, I would go to several conferences and uh, go to Washington D.C., New York, uh, Chicago, a lot of places, and they would always say, "Now, where are you from?" You know, just like like I had three eyeballs or something and I would I'd gotten where I would say New York City and they'd go no you're not yes I am what makes you think I'm not from New York and they would laugh and, and inevitably everybody would always say Texas so I must sound like I'm more from Texas but I've been born and raised in Alabama sweet home Alabama and I'm proud of it roll tide roll so I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. Maybe some footage with my love if I can get this to work. I love this new thing that I got to go on my dashboard. So I'll be back with y'all in just a minute. Hey, Mama Love. <laughs> she said, don't put that thing on me today. I look like a woolly booger. <laughs> What's a woolly booger, Mama? Fuzz is standing out. Well, you don't have fuzz. You have gorgeous white hair. Yeah, Everybody's been talking about how beautiful your hair is. Well, I appreciate it. I'd hate to be bald. My friend, um, you know, Katie and Cullen. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting right there. Cullen and Katie that I watch from Birmingham all the time, the young couple. Well, I've made friends with their mother, with Katie's mother, Dolly, on Instagram. I told her I had a feeling that me and her were a lot alike. And uh, I posted that picture of you Sunday uh, eating your hamburger when you did Cheers. Yeah. And she said, what a blessing to have you. And I said, yes, she is. I said, she is something else. So, but Mother and I, we are on a cleaning spree. Now, Mother acts like she's trying to get ready to go home. I need to leave a good route. <laughs> but we don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> but I have been off work seven months and I am just now getting rested enough and having the energy enough to clean out stuff. So y'all know y'all saw my pantry and you just saw my husband's closet. And then I attacked another closet yesterday and had a young lady that I've known all of her life to come up and I filled her up with clothes for church, a lot of church clothes. And then I just stuffed throughout my house that I wasn't using anymore. Uh, platters and decorative like platters and decorative things sitting around I told her it was a lot of good stuff and I just told her I said you take whatever you want and then if you don't want it I'm gonna take it to the Goodwill or to a local uh, mission that we have and she said well if you don't mind I'll take it all because my church has yard sales and I said girlfriend <laughs> Take it, the Seth the Lord. <laughs> Take it, Mama. How many uh, bags of stuff did you clear out a few weeks ago? Okay. Yeah. I can count. Stuff many. that she said she hadn't worn in 20 years. But just tell them the story. Uh, my mother's granddaughter, my niece, works at a, a nursing home, and mother sent. Um, several little jackets because you know they get cool and then like when they go out they like to wear little jackets tell them about that little lady uh tell them about the jacket Lindsay gave them the jacket had a little cat on it real pretty and she, she, she asked her she said how do you like your jacket she said oh i love it my granddaughter brought it to me <laughs> oh. i told her to let her thank her right now. oh the very next day she told my niece that her granddaughter had brought it to her <laughs> so that's so sweet and that's that's such a good use of stuff that we're not using and I'm so guilty of hoarding stuff. Yep, I can breathe better. Mother says she can breathe better. <laughs> <laughs> we bought Mother a new vacuum cleaner the other day too. <laughs> OMG. She's got a dog. <laughs> and I think maybe five years of that dog's hair was in the rug. She had been vacuuming and vacuuming and cleaning and I, but I had and mother's house is clean and I but I'd go in and I said mother I smell dog and she's like well I bathe her and I keep her clean and I don't know so we went and bought her a new vacuum cleaner and it's the kind that you can see the canister <laughs> oh my gosh if the health department had seen that canister even took it off you would have been on hoarders <laughs> hoarding dog 
hair. <laughs> You're not gonna look. But you would not believe what a new vacuum cleaner took up out of her rug. And then I had bought her a Scentsy, and so we've got the Scentsy going. And then I bought her, well, she bought, I just ordered all this stuff for her and have her go pick it up. She paid for it. I don't want to sound like I buy her everything, so. Um, but did buy your car, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's a blessing. Um, so then we uh, ordered her. She had seen them at Walmart, but then when she went back, they weren't there. So we bought her one of those mop buckets that has the lever that you can do your foot with to wring it out. Because obviously, obviously, she can't bend over like she used to. She can still bend over better than me. <laughs> but at 88 years old, 88 and a, yeah, 88. You're not even a half yet. <laughs> it, it won't be long. Just think about me. Think about this birthday. Tell them that's why I'm cleaning up. So I'm going to clean She says she's cleaning up. She's getting ready to go home to be with Jesus. And she's not. She's not. No, no she's just, she's tired of it. But we bought her that new mop bucket that where she can just really clean better. And oh, she's just loved it. It came to Amazon, delivered right I'm a Prime member, so delivered right to her doorstep. And I saw yesterday on TV, Mother, there's a new website called Jet that just, I think it started yesterday. And they say they're going to really give Amazon a run for their money. Uh, uh, just doing a lot of different stuff cheaper. So, Lord, there ain't no telling what we're liable to be buying off Jet. Well, no, we'll be buying but now I like Amazon. I like Amazon. So, my, my new racks came in to store my platters with. Uh, yesterday I'm going around a big curve in case you're wondering I have to dry hive and watch but we're going over this doctor my ENT doctor it's completely on the other side of town for me but I just I like him my sister-in-law uses him and I had vertigo really bad a couple of weeks ago and so I'm gonna let him check that and let him check some issues with my throat hopefully that's gonna make it better so mama love is riding with me today she's been staying in because of the heat did you see where it was a hundred and eight in where was it yesterday somewhere in in like I think in some other place it was like 102 right now it's 90 we had a rain come through this morning so we we can handle 90 can we okay. yeah so uh, but she's riding to the doctor with me and I want to go to Target and look for me a new planner that they're carrying those brand new planners I've been watching the reviews on but we're gonna go eat lunch first because this girl hadn't had no breakfast or anything so we're gonna go eat somewhere That's really what we're going for. it's really what we go for <laughs> is to shop and to eat <laughs> and tell stories right Yep. There's no telling what she's going to tell me today. <laughs> you got any good gossip, Mama? No, no, I don't gossip anymore. All my friends are dead. All of her friends are dead. That's the truth. That's the truth. Is it not? It is. We just lost my Aunt Betty, who was her best friend, and I've told y'all about her. And it's really bothered Mother. Because they, how many times a day would y'all talk? Well, we, sometimes we talk one time. Uh -huh. Sometimes we talk two times. Of course, what was had going on. And if they just had a thought come to their mind, they just called each other, you know? And it just, you know, they were just big buddies. Um, so, it's it's been a major adjustment, had it, Mother? Oh, yeah. It's been yeah. harder than I actually thought it was. Yeah, it's been hard. I, and I knew it would be really hard. I don't want to go home. I don't want to leave. But yeah. Between that and the heat, I'm really saying it. Yeah. So, it's, it's causing a little little depression there when you don't lose somebody that's been your sister-in-law oh gosh 60 something years or longer i don't even remember when i married your daddy about <laughs> about 65 years probably you married my daddy the day before you were 16 and you she, were she was already married and she was already married she's three years older she, my mama was a baby when she got married. The day before she was 16. She didn't know nothing. Didn't have nothing. Everybody did it. Everybody. I want her to tell us some stories one day uh, about those times. Um, if I could tell you about some of the meals I fixed, it would absolutely help. I said to her one day, she said something about an ice block. And I said, an ice block? And she said, yeah, they'd come around selling ice blocks. And I said, for what? She said, to keep things cool. And I said, well, what about your refrigerator? <laughs> She said we didn't have a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, we cooked on a um, cold, stove. cold stove. 
when she first got married. I was going to say, make it stove's coal, it's burning coal. A coal, C-O-A-L, coal stove. <laughs> She'd have to light a fire in it and then cook in it. So she's got a lot of things that she can tell us. A lot of things. Some of them I won't tell. Some things we can't repeat. <laughs> Some things we can't repeat. So, anyway, I'm going to turn the phone off and we're going to drive and have a good time and we'll probably check back in with y'all today. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what you got, Mama? Uh -huh. Five guys and fries. Not five guys and fries. I thought it was. That's where they came in. There's five of them. Hey, we get us a hamburger. Isn't that good? I believe it's a monster. It's a monster. It's not as good as the John Boy burger, though, is it? Uh -uh. Good though. Okay, got you some ketchup too. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in Tarjay. What you buying, Mama Love? Not nothing and I'm oh, worn wow. to And she's worn out. I gotta get her out of I'm here. I'm worn to a frazzle. Are you worn down? I'm oh, to a frazzle. Are you fading fast? <laughs> Are you getting yeah, is it going not, down? It's not the big one, Elizabeth, is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is the big one. I know it. Oh, we're in Tarjay and of course they didn't have the planners. I came after what did I tell you? Blue sky. Everybody says, oh, Target has tons of them. Well, not this one, but I did get these cute, cute baskets to put the kids' toys in to go under my big coffee table. I'll show you those when I get home. So we're fixing to check out because my mom loves getting tired. Got to head to the doctor. <laughs> that was not an attractive look. <laughs> Don't do that again. They lie will put you in the hospital. <laughs> this is downtown, the old historic part of Trustful. Look at those crepe myrtles. How beautiful. And look at the tree lined streets, how pretty. A lot of pretty houses down through here. Trustful is on the outskirts of Birmingham. And they've got like a big area there where they Average. play football and soccer. And a lot of these houses look, you know, very similar, like they were built in a certain style. Um, but it's just a real pretty area through here. A lot of little cottage, see the little cottage style houses there? It's just a real pretty area. We've had a good day, haven't we? Yes. What'd you eat for lunch? A burger. <laughs> a big old fat it's burger. A bit too big. Well, you ate all of it. No, I didn't. Oh, did you? I ate all of mine. <laughs> That's the reason I'm jumbo petite. <laughs> I'm not petite. Uh, but we ate it. Five Guys and Fries, and I'd never eaten there before. And it was really good, wasn't it? I was disappointed. I just saw three men. I just saw three men, too. <laughs> I saw three men and two women. So maybe Five Guys just means like five people. But there was five people behind the uh, counter, yeah. so that may be what it's for. Yeah. And so then we went and rode, it out, rode around a little bit. Now we're heading to my house. Uh, I put on my Facebook, well, and, I, and I did a video this morning too, but we're going to my house. She doesn't have a DVD player, so now we're going to my house to watch the DVD uh, of my dad. It's it's actually my dad and mother and me and my brother are supposed to be on it, so it's going to be good to see. So we're going to go watch it, so we'll check in with y'all a little bit later. But I Okay, red face. <laughs> We're watching the video. There's Mama Love over there watching it. Oh my gosh, this uh, DVD is not very long, but it is. Abs I have sat here and cried because my grandmother and my granddaddy, my mom's mother and daddy, and my daddy's on there, and it is so good. I'm gonna try to film it when it gets back to it and see if it'll film just a little bit. And it's got me on. There's a little snaggle tooth girl. I needed braces and still do, but okay. I've kind of grown into my teeth now. But I think you're going to see who I favor when you, when you see this video. So, but it is precious. It, like I said, it's no sound to it uh, or anything, but it's absolutely awesome. It has made my day, my week, my month. <laughs> um, for him to be gone that long and to be able to see him moving and, and waving and everything. And so my mom says, I am just like him. And so I can even see it from seeing the video of him. So I'll try to film a little bit of it when it gets to it. <laughs> That's my Aunt Hazel <laughs> doing the twist. She was beautiful. That's my Aunt Margaret. Back to the left is my precious grandmother that's been dead since 1974. 
And then my granddaddy, that's the back of my mother's head. That's wrong. And this is my gorgeous mother. Look how cute she were. You were so cute. There I am with my papa in the background. My brother, Dana. And precious footage of my daddy. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. That is so awesome. 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 Not worth it all, I think. Not worth it all. No. It's yeah. been a long time since we've seen him, yeah. hasn't it? We, we've really seen him there. Yeah. Just, just like him. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm still a little red faced here in the car. I just took mother home and uh, I wasn't sure how she would uh, feel about seeing the video of daddy after him being gone for so long. It's, um, it's never easy to lose a parent. It's never easy to um, lose a loved one. But it's especially hard for closure for us when we lose someone and we don't get to tell them goodbye. And that's something that I struggled with for a lot of years. So to get to see him, and my gosh, to see how much I do look like him. My mom says I'm just like him. My nose is not like him. He had a sharper nose, and I've got a very small pug nose. <laughs> but um, my smile and my laugh and my actions and and my mom says my leadership abilities. I'm one of those that if something's going on, I'm going to jump right in the middle and get it going. I can't stand for things to, you know, to sit around and people, nobody take charge. So I got a fly in here too, a bug or something. So she said in that regard, I am just like him because he was a take charge person too. So I miss him terribly. I, I know what, you know, I've been talking with some friends um, that have lost their dad recently and, and I know what it's like. Thank God I haven't had to experience losing my mother yet and I know that day's coming and I know it'll be a difficult day, but I think I had told y'all this morning, except by the grace and the mercy and the love and the strength of God, when you have someone murdered as my dad was murdered. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's something that's very hard to get over and it really takes years to get over it. And I really, probably as a 27 year old girl, I probably needed some counseling, you know, some professional counseling. But, um, but I, I called my cousin while I was taking mother home and he is probably, he's probably in his early 80s, I guess. I'm not real sure but anyway I told him I said you could not have given me a million dollars and made me happier and that's the absolute truth now I'd still take a million dollars if anybody wants to give it to me but just seeing that video has made me it's just I don't know just made um, great memories come back um, I told you before I was daddy's girl and um, so a lot of great memories there and then for it just to be it like out of all the video of everybody his was the best it's like the camera stayed on him the longest and he was happy and he was waving and everything so it was just a perfect perfect ending to a, a really good day I think that John and I are gonna ride up and see the grandbabies um, they're leaving going to the beach with my son-in-laws Family. They go to the beach every summer with us. Now we did that in June. And then they're, they go to the beach with his parents. And his parents are actually the one that owns the condo where we stay. So they're going back to Panama City. So they'll be gone for several days. I'm keeping them tomorrow all day while mom works and dad works. And then when she gets in from doing a 12 hour shift, then they'll head off to the beach tomorrow night. Hoping that the, um, boys will sleep on the way to the beach. That doesn't always work though. sometimes. Our little fireball red, the two year old, he, he'll, be, he'll be back there kind of demanding things, but the iPads help a whole lot. I know people say, don't, you know, don't let that be their babysitter. 
and uh, when you're driving to the beach for five hours, you not let it be a babysitter. <laughs> it's a great babysitter. So, but we do limit their time on it, as I've told you before, because when I keep them, they'll usually get on them sometimes in the morning when they get up, because they have um, little things they want. And I didn't realize it till we got these, that there is a kid's YouTube, and so much better because Reed, our oldest one, was getting on YouTube. Even with Spider, he is he is crazy about Spider Man. But there are some Spider Man things that's been put out there that's not good. That's certainly not good for a four year old. So really good um, for them to be on kids YouTube. So Reed is Spider Man and Rhett is a Hulk. <laughs> that's what he loves to say. He's a man of few words still, but he'll tell you Hulk. He loves the Hulk. So, anyway, I'm heading back home. Um, John will be getting off of work in a little while. And then I think the kids, I think they're swimming tonight. I think some of their cousins are coming over to swim. So, I think we're going to ride up there and watch them swim a little while and get some good loving on them. Of course, I'll be with them all day tomorrow, but uh, their papa, my husband, won't be and uh, so I'll get to be with them all day tomorrow before they leave so but we're going to uh, ride up there and see them for a little while and it's just been a good day with my mama every day I get with her is just a treasure um, she is so funny she would say um, you never know what's gonna come out of her mouth <laughs> and I guess when you're 88 years old by cracky you can do that you can say what you want but at one point she said something I can't remember but I remember she used a little choice word and uh, not bad but you know little word and, uh, and when she said she said oh my god you don't have that thing on to you and I said no it's a good thing I don't so fixing the pool into the garage it'll get dark on us here but it's been a great day thanks for sharing the day with me and um, I hope to see you back real soon talk to y'all later love you